We're first at six at this hour, the search is still ongoing for a missing voter from Horry County. Tyler Doyle was last seen a little over a week ago while he was out duck hunting. Today that search headed north to Wilmington. News 13's Manny Martinez is live in Wilmington right now. And Manny, what was the search effort like where you are? Bob, the for much of the day, small boats crisscrossed here along the Cape Fear River in Wilmington. Now that the sun has started to set, a few of the boaters have started to return to the landing here where I'm at. But they were out there looking for anything, any clue that could lead them to finding Tyler Doyle. Hopefully we can get them back home safe. The search for missing boater Tyler Doyle now extending into its second week. Doyle and one other person were duck hunting last Thursday night before a distress call. The other boater was rescued. The search for Doyle kicked into high gear the following day. The initial search surrounded the Little River jetties near the incident. It's moved north throughout the week and now into the Wilmington area. Scuba diving expert Chris Logg explains how currents could have pushed Doyle north. As soon as you get out into the ocean, those wind-driven currents tend to push north along the beach. At a two-knot current, that's 48 miles in 24 hours. So um, it's extremely likely that he could be all the way up here in Wilmington. The search's focal point Friday was the Cape Fear Memorial Bridge. Boaters carefully combed the river for any clues. So all I'm trying to do is to make his wife proud and his family proud. I know people will miss him and want to see him. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources is still on the search, saying teams will be looking until a rescue is made or a body is recovered. Loved ones leading the way posted updates online that they've found decoy ducks they believe belong to Doyle. His pregnant wife, Lakeland, posting, just want my other half to come home. Everyone misses you so much, Ty. And it wasn't just people on boats out here today. I met one couple who's been following all of this on Facebook that said they wanted to be a part of it, so they brought out their binoculars to be a part of the search. And now many of the folks that are now going home, they told me that they'll expect to be back out here again tomorrow. Live in Wilmington, Manny Martinez, News 13.